Sonny Donnelly, IFL TV in association with Macklin's Gym Marbella. I'm in Hackney today. With me, I've got new professional boxer, oh, yeah. Lawrence Acoli. Lawrence, how are you? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Yeah, that's the first time someone's said it like that, so it's, it's interesting. <laughs> Sounded good. Yeah. Um, you're now a cruiserweight prospect. Yeah. That is what you are. Um, signed with Eddie Hearn and Matchroom Boxing yesterday. Yeah. Was on Sky Sports, big news. Uh, yeah, no, on the front field of Snapchat, you're everywhere, mate. Yeah, yeah, no, it was, it was crazy because obviously I woke up in the morning and I knew that I was going to sign, but I hadn't actually signed. And by the time I signed, the changeover was crazy, obviously, going to the Sky um, Studios, getting um, interviewed like several times during the day, and then like, all that stuff does it, like, it's, it's exciting, but it's all right, do you know what I mean? I'm on Sky Sports News, whatever, that stuff's normal. But then when I saw that like, I was on um, the Snapchat field as well, because obviously I'm always on my Snapchat, always on Instagram, so on and so forth. That's when I was like, oh, like Sky Sports um, feature. I was just that's when it really hit me. I was like, oh, this is this, 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 this good. The fact that yesterday you was Sky Sports main bit of news. Yeah. Did it, did it feel a bit surreal? Uh, a little bit surreal, but obviously like um, coming going to the Olympics, so on and so forth. I sort of felt like the, the Olympians that turn over will get a little bit of buzz. I wasn't expecting it to be that much. But um, I was sort of mentally prepared for it, but still it was just crazy. So, yeah. Obviously, your, your 25th fight mm. as a boxer yeah. uh, was in the Olympics. You yeah. had 24 before that. Mm. Shows what sort of how quickly you've progressed and yeah. excelled as a boxer. Um, are you looking to do the same sort of thing in the pros? Yeah, exactly that. I mean, the bottom line is I had limited experience in the amateurs, but what I did is I went for it. I was, you know what I mean? I wasn't nervous or scared getting in with the top boxers, and I was taking opportunities as they come. And it's the same sort of mentality I want to take into the pro pro game is, you know, when opportunities come, being physically ready to take them, mentally ready to take them, and just going on that way. I know, obviously, for a while you uh, had several offers as uh, coming like, from different promoters, but uh, Eddie Hearn's the one you chose. I think yeah. was it after your little trip to the darts with the Penny Boys video? Um, what I got <laughs> me, I think I shot like a video, um, the promo one that's been going around. I shot that one, and once I'd seen it, I was like, wow, like, okay, these guys are... Well, you, you shot know. that before you even signed? Yeah, yeah, I mean, because it was out the, the <laughs> same day, so I shot it before I signed. So obviously that just showed me that, you know, they're, you serious. know, they've got, yeah, they're serious, they've got, you know. And when you actually look at Sky Sports, think, like Matchroom, Eddie Hearn, okay, fantastic, you can see what they did. But when you look at the platform of Sky Sports, with like everyone that I know that's into sports is <laughs> everyone that I know that's into sports um, has Sky Sports um, news or so on and so forth. So um, it was just a natural transit that um, naturally that I chose them. Obviously, the cruiserweight division. Um, last year we see some great sort of lower level domestic fights mm. between obviously Isaac Chamberlain and Woody Camacho, and mm. I know Woody Camacho is now fighting Cole Wheeler for that Southern Area title. Mm. How quickly do you want to sort of throw yourself in the mix with them sort of boys? I mean, personally, I feel like I could get in the midst of that level, like right now, coming off of the Olympics and the GB setup. Like, it wouldn't take long to go for that level. But um, I don't want to get ahead of myself. I need to mainly work on conditioning and being used to the pro rings. Because from out here, it's easy to say that, OK, I'm better than all and, the names that you just said. The ten out I think the ten ounces are going to be quite easy to get used to if that makes sense. Like getting hit hard and hitting hard is all part of boxing so far anyway, but I think it's more the the rounds if that makes sense. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So anyway, um, with that I feel that like on the skill and ability level, do you know what I mean? I'm probably above that level now mentally. Alright, then bail you. Yeah, I mean so that's more that's more <laughs> those more names you because obviously at this stage I've got high ambition, so those are more the names that you've got to start saying. So people like Bellew and the top cruiserweights are the ones that I'm more thinking of at the moment and I'm I have to wait and see. Like after I've had my first fight I'll tell you how much longer after I've had my tenth I'll tell you, but I think more in the next like two years probably to really get I think because a lot of people you can be fit enough to do 12 rounds or whatever but that's only half the battle you also need to be like robust enough you have to be seasoned enough that when it gets those later rounds even though you're physically fit you have enough you sauce yeah there's, I mean and the sauce will carry you through no matter what happens in a fight if you've got enough sauce and you're tired and everything else has gone out the window adrenaline's gone and there's nothing left you need there's that little spark of sauce like that little, like little dab when the olympic result comes in that's it do you know what i mean it's <laughs> a little little bit of sauce to get you through to the next bit trust me so that's, that's what you got you got to have strength conditioning yeah sauce i mean i think now this is me saying it now this i think to be 
to get to the top level, stay there and do well, you obviously got to be mentally strong, physically strong, but I think you need to have a little bit of something else, which I call source. You can call it whatever you want. Same way, everyone's got their own version of God. I've got my own version of what you need to make, and that's sauce. So, you got special sauce? Yeah. Like KSA, secret recipe? Yeah, I can't say too much about it, but <laughs> sauce, yeah. Um, as your name will get bigger, now you're on the SkySport platform, mm. people are going to wonder, what is Penny Boys? Yeah. I mean, like I said, it's a group of my um, close friends, we're like, like brothers, and what we do is that like, whatever I can do to help one of my um, Penny Boys, I'll do whatever they can do to help me, they'll do, and like, we're just pushing each other to get to as high as we can in whatever we're doing. And we have different ventures, so different ones do, you know, different things. Like, for example, ones into property. So obviously in the future, once we get the capital going, we can go into properties. So I don't want to say too much, but we're into creating something. Here. So obviously so. we know that Anthony Joshua went to the Olympics, mm. Pro, had a massive fan base. If mm. you get a massive fan base, yeah. people might want to start becoming Penny Boys. Yeah. What, what, what do you do then? Uh, I think that... Penny Boy Nation? Yeah, I think that, I think <laughs> there's room, you know what I mean, for everyone to um, be Penny Boys, because it's also a spirit, do you know what I'm saying? But I think we'll do auditions maybe <laughs> next year, obviously, once we get to that, um, that stage, we'll do auditions and little competitions like who can do the best Penny Boy shout out. Obviously, there's Okoli's at the cage. That song, I don't know if you heard it. Yeah, I, that's Sports another one. Is it? Yeah. You're the first boxer I've ever seen turn over, now he's done yeah. a song. I had, I had that from before turning over, do you know what I mean? When I was walking out in New York Hall, the WSB was playing there. But, um, yeah, so obviously we'll do a little... Who made that song? Right it's, it's, his name's Gabriel Gats. Gats, that's Gabriel ain't the same. Um, so yeah, check him out, do you know what I mean? Is he a penny boy? Uh, he's an honorary penny boy, do you know what I'm saying? Honorary, because yeah, he made the song, yeah, he yeah. And obviously we've known each other for... I'll give you your first interview, I feel like I'm a penny boy. I mean, honorary penny boy. Yes, yeah. I mean. <laughs> but yeah, nah, um, so yeah, we'll do little competitions and stuff like that, yeah. Um, I'll have to ask you, uh, massive fights coming up, obviously. Um, your friend, Anthony Joshua and Klitschko, how can you see that one going? I think that, on that personally, I'm trying not to be biased, but I think that if... Joshua, because obviously Joshua is a lot sharper and a lot faster than him. If Joshua uses that, and because um, obviously he's had big fights before, boxed for a world title, been in big fights, same as Joshua. But I think if he starts like fast, not recklessly, but if he starts sharp and fast, I think he'll get to him. And as soon as he hits him, I think that as much as um, Klitschko's experience, every time he's been hit properly, he unravels. So I think that he'll unravel, and then Joshua will get the KO win. Ooh, mm. Put some money on that. Yeah, definitely. Uh, put a bit of sauce on that. Um, <laughs> next other fight, obviously, uh, Tony Bellew that we were just talking about and David yeah. Hay. Mm. Interesting little prospect. I mean, a lot of people have wrote Tony Bellew off straight away because yeah. of David Hay's power and obviously mm. he's the natural at the weight. Yeah. Um, what do you make of the fight? Uh, I think that it has the potential to be like a better fight than a lot of people are thinking. I don't think um, David Hay's going to walk across the ring and jab him and. Tony Belly's going to go down, but I think that obviously it's going to be a hard task for Belly. But at the end of the day, he can punch, as we've seen for the past several fights. Um, David has shown um, some vulnerability before, but I don't know how it's, how much Dave, um, Tony's power is really going to affect David. If it can, then it turns into like a 50 50 fight, whoever lands first. But otherwise, um, David should, will probably get it. And I forgot to mention, because I don't want to leave him out, uh, yeah. Brian O'Shaughnessy, who's yeah. going to be your trainer turning over. Mm -hmm. Uh, obviously, how did, how did that come about and why why Brian to take you uh, on this journey? I've been training with Brian for a, a number of years now, do you know what I mean? So while I've um, been doing amateur training, I've been coming down, getting working with him. While I was on the GB team, on the weekends I'll come down and work with him. So it's been like a progression, do you know what I'm saying? So now that I'm turning over, it's just a natural thing to just, the person I've been training with all this time, to just train with full time. Does make sense, yeah. and obviously, hopefully the journey continues. Cause he's, he's done you well so far. Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, you, you, how many fights you had now as a boxer? Twenty six. Twenty six. Mm. And you signed with, and you got your own song. Yeah, trust. <laughs> Bang out of all that. Is. <laughs> I'm not happy with that. I'm joking. But um, obviously, well, the journey starts here, Lawrence. Um, I'm excited. Everyone's excited, and the world's seen you on Snapchat now, so mm. people know who you are. Yeah, man. Macaulay's out of the cage. Penny boys, um, thank you much for all the time on TV, and I'll catch up with you soon. Look forward to looking for the future. Cheers, mate. Top man.